Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Head and Neck Cancer Treatment Guide. This module is part four of a six-part series on head and neck cancer. Head and neck cancer is an umbrella term that refers to cancer that begins in the head or neck region of the body. The types of head and neck cancer are named after the area in which they originate, such as oral cancer, which forms in the oral cavity, and throat cancer, which develops in the throat. Because most head and neck cancers form in the surface layer of the tissue, where the cells are flat and squamous, most head and neck cancers are squamous cell carcinomas. Head and neck cancers account for about 3% of all cancers in the United States. The majority of head and neck cancer patients are over the age of 50. Men are two to three times more likely to develop the disease than women. In this course, the objective is to help you know what are the side effects of head and neck cancer? The side effects you may experience will depend on the type of treatment or treatments you have. Some side effects are temporary, while others may be permanent. And some side effects, especially from radiation treatment, can be difficult to manage. This is why it is so important to talk to your doctor about any potential side effects before you decide on a treatment plan. The most common side effects for head and neck cancer treatments are mucositis, fatigue, nausea, weight loss or loss of appetite, and dry, itchy, or irritated skin. When it comes to managing side effects, remember to work with your doctor to help relieve your side effects. Your doctor may be able to change your treatment, try a different dose, or prescribe medicine to help. Learn all you can about how to help ease side effects. Start by asking your doctor. Ask your doctor if there are any side effects that could be severe and know when to seek immediate medical care. Do not stop your treatment or suffer in silence because of side effects. Tell your doctor about all side effects. Simple self-care steps may help ease some side effects. With mucositis, if you are on chemo, sucking on ice chips immediately before and during treatment can help prevent or relieve painful mouth sores. You need to use mouthwash with lidocaine. Make sure to take over-the-counter medicine like acetaminophen or prescription pain medicine. You need to brush and floss your teeth gently. Use fluoride toothpaste without whiteners. If a toothbrush is too painful, try using a toothette. Try to eat soft foods that you do not need to chew very much like yogurt or pudding. And try mashing your food or even eating baby food. You need to rinse and gargle with a solution of half a teaspoon salt and half a teaspoon of baking soda in a glass of water. You must moisturize your lips, but do not use oil-based products like petroleum jelly, and do not eat foods that are spicy, salty, crunchy, sugary, or too hot or cold. If you have a loss of appetite or weight loss, you should eat six smaller meals a day instead of three larger ones if you are not very hungry. Try to take a walk before you sit down to eat. You should increase your calories by adding milk, yogurt, or olive oil to your food. Make sure to get your calories however you can. Unless you have a health issue, eat whatever sounds good. If you have dry, itchy, or irritated skin, you will need to shower or bathe in lukewarm, not hot, water and use mild soap. Put on a cream-based lotion within 5 minutes of bathing or showering. You should use soaps, lotions, and laundry detergents that are perfume or scent-free. It is best to avoid the sun, but if you do spend time outdoors, wear a wide-brimmed hat, avoid direct sunlight from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and use sunscreen that is at least SPF 15 or higher. You should not use acne products that contain alcohol or retinoids. They will dry out your skin. If your skin itches in just one area, use an anti-itch cream like a corticosteroid. If your skin itches all over, talk to your doctor about taking an antihistamine pill. For fatigue, you need to plan to rest by taking short naps a few times a day. You should talk to your doctor if you have trouble sleeping at night. Try and stay active. Walking can help. Try to let others help you do chores or run errands so you can save your energy for things that only you can do. With nausea, if you are getting chemo or radiation, try a light meal or snack before your treatment. Try to eat bland foods like chicken broth and crackers. You need to ask your doctor if anti-nausea medicine could help. 
please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for Part 4 of this six-part series on head and neck cancer, and come back for Part 5.